This is Command Progression, where Nova and I play through all the years of Yu-Gi-Oh! playing a Highlander format, where we have access to a Commander or Deck Master. Today we're returning up Magician's Force, a frankly little underwhelming of a set, but it does have a few things to offer us. We have a couple of power cards still in Breaker, Tribe Infecting Virus, and we still have a couple of good utility options as well, as well as classic format ruiners and yeah he's here and if you need any information on how the rules for this system work go and check out the first episode linked in the description magicians force has one thing and one thing that we're looking for only and that is magical merchant because as our commander we can make some very goofy brews centered entirely around that knowing for a fact that we will have access to it so um Let's see if the gods of fate smile kindly upon us. And it's not here yet, but these are goofy cards. Magical scientist for... We, we don't have anywhere near the fusion we need for that one. Royal Magical Library is great for the long game. Uh, and the more spellcasters we can pull, I think the better synergy we can get with Gravekeeper. So I'm not going to say no to that. All right, 24 packs of Magician's Force starting now. what an ultra i mean she's fine she's not terrible could come up in some sort of warrior beatdown strategy um my body as a shield is really good and kaiser coliseum is actually a really good pickup as well uh, i think about yeah this is actually a pretty good pickup of uh, things amazon of swordswoman is our ultra oh okay so this one also has big commander potential right if we get to low enough life points we just summon out the amazon of swordswoman out of our command zone and then we crash and then if we have to spend a tribute later on to summon it out then no issue uh, i also like rivalry of warlords a uh, really good floodgate if we can narrow in on a particular type for our deck another ultra but it's another bad one we are never making this even if we had three of each piece, which we physically can't, um, I would not be playing this. But it is one of my favorite old fusion monsters. It is really cool. Dark Paladin. There's... Now, I, I'm not going to say not be, although this one is must do a fusion summon, so we can't metamorphose this target specifically. But, yeah, there's no way we're summoning that one. Uh, other cards are fine. Oh, well, there's the Z-Metal tank. Again, we're not playing you, buddy. You can't force me. Uh, Rivalry is a very good pickup. Um, even while well, limited cards like that can just be really strong. Uh, Frontline base could be funny. Amazon's Tiger is a good pickup for later, I guess. Uh, skilled White Magician is funny if we can grab Buster Blader. I don't even know if it's in this set in particular. Giant Orc, though, is basically just another copy of Goblin Attack Force, and I will take it as another one of those big attack normal summons with a downside. Hey, oh. Ah. Uh... That's not the secret rare we want. Diffusion Wave Motion. This card is unplayably bad. Pineapple Blast is okay, I guess. Dark Horror! <sighs> Talk about removal. Just banish that card. Get it out of here. Well, yeah, I mean, I told you, even if we get all three of you, we can't play you. Um, Cliff is very good. Action Unit's very good. Giant Orc is, um, of course, going to be uh, no, Golden Nova's new commander in this episode. Cool, Kaiser Coliseum. Ugh, Kaiser Coliseum. Uh, play Kaiser Coliseum, have our commander be Spirit Reaper. See how long it takes for Scarlon to find a targeting effect. Oh, we're just getting all of them. Yeah, we really are. Um, YZ, it's funny, but bad. Apprentice, extremely important. Um, I guess it's good that Nova got rid of our Magician of Faith right before this came out, because it would have been really crazy to have essentially two copies of it, but we can use it for Vindictive Magician. Uh, oh, there's X-Head Cannon, another good normal summon that is part of the big XYZ conglomerate. Not that we will be able to get all of that. I I, I defy us to find a way to make that work. Oh, there he is. Uh, this is obviously going to... If one of us gets Catapult Turtle, um, whenever that this comes out, I don't know if it's... It's not already out, but whenever Catapult Turtle is out... <laughs> This is going to be a commander, and it's going to be a problem. Well... 
do we have we already pulled Y Dragon Head at all? I don't know. We're still not we're still not playing it though. Oh, yo, there she is. All right, I'm happy with that. I mean, she's not good, but I'll try and play her in something. And there's some spellcaster deck or something. I don't know. I'm, it's cool to pull it. Of course, the set with like terrible secrets is the one we pull both of them. By the way, of course it is. Paladin, another ultra star power. Golly, you know it's bad enough that we wouldn't be able to summon it anyway. But the fact that duplicates already just don't work sucks. Nope. Let me get the second YZ. We've seen four copies of Z. Across five cards, we've seen five different inversions of Z Metal Tank in this pool. Um, I would really like to see um, White Paladin and White Dragon because it can be good for Blue Eyes later down the line. But we do have Dark Magician Girl, you know, for whatever that's worth. And nothing in the close, but I do think overall, um, pretty good. Um, I'm, but I mean, we got a good array of rarities. I mean, this is funny, but sucks. Like getting five hollows that are this bad. We got like we got one good hollow functionally out of eight. Um, but I, I'm it's cool to see DMG. Um, even if she's bad. Uh, some of these are definitely very good, though. There's some really good stuff to add to the deck today, so, um, yeah, let's get to deck building. All right, last wave. Uh, is this going to be the rare here? No, so we're going to have a rare in this slot, and it is another anti. Okay, um, this one didn't have quite as much of a build-up as last time, but I really was looking for that Necro Valley. That should not take away from the cards we have access to right now. Wait. Uh, let's wrap this up. Let's head a deck edit. Let's see what new fangled experiences we have in store for all of you uh, this week on Commander Prague. All right, here we are with the Magician's Force, and not a huge amount has changed as uh, usual. These couple sets didn't really give us that much of power. We just sort of strand a few things. Um, we're more consolidating our game plan. We have picked up uh, Cliff, which is a really good addition. Um, just spell and trap removal can be really, really valuable given how much back row that Nova's been playing has been so good. We really need a way to deal with that kind of thing. Uh, we're playing a couple things like the Roulette Barrel and the Magical Merchant. Those are pretty good changes. And yeah, we took out some of the worst beaters. I feel like just vanilla 1800s aren't going to cut it anymore. We need stuff with effects. We need stuff that's going to get over things of that size, like I'd rather place to play the Nian and Spear Dragon, even if they have their downsides, you know, they are able to get over the same size things if Nova puts them out, and he has been playing a lot of those, so yeah, I think that's probably the better decision to have made. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we just cut out all the, the riffraff, all the vanillas, and hopefully this, uh, this goes a lot better. Everyone, I bring to you a little treat. We are actually running a commander that runs the rest of the deck that it's in. Shocker. We are using Freed the Matchless General, one of the cards that we got out of this set. Any spell effect that targets it gets negated, so it is immune to some kind of interactions that we have this format. But the most important effect is that during my draw phase, I can get rid of that to add any level 4 or lower warrior monster from my deck to my hand. So we're running Warrior Toolbox. Sadly, we lack Exiled Force, so we don't just get to play free piece of removal out of our deck when we need it, but we do have things like Hayabusa Knight for when we have a grip full of equip spells. We can use Hunter with the seven weapons to out a particularly rough normal summon by declaring its type. If we can stall enough with cards like Bottomless Trap Hole or Mirror Force, we can get Dream Clown to ensure even more removal later on, uh, or the Invader of the Throne to steal something particularly funny that Scarlon might have summoned. I worry that this is a bit too experimental. Uh, a lot of the removal of this format is in the form of monsters and trap cards, so I'm not sure if Freed's protection will be enough, but we got the cards. I don't know when else we're going to give this a shot. Might as well do it now and see if theory matches practice. Or the other way around. Anyway, I'll see you in the games. Alright. Magician's Force. 
It's a decent set, right? But oh my god, the hollows in that set were terrible, right? It's outrageous. You know, we think things are bad now, and they kind of are, but they weren't exactly doing anyone any favors during the early days. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna tell you without saying too much that, um, yeah, now that we've passed a bunch of the crazy sets with insane hollows, the game is giving me a lot of hollows. <laughs> Oh, so you're the beneficiary of the game's uh, frugal spending on hollows. Hmm, exactly. Oh, well, good. I'm glad to see that. The riches are just piling up on your end. Meanwhile, yeah, the, us the hard-working duelists like... over here have to make do with not Magician of Faith. Yeah. The rich is like YZ Metal Dragon. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's peak. It's contact fusion. You don't even need polymerization. True, you just only have one of each material. <laughs> and you have to pull them all, they're supers. Yeah. They're super rare. Well, super rare is like the jewels upon your rings. Whatever, mm. I'm ready to fight back is the working class of commander progression. Mm. Oh, you want to you wanna start with throwing rocks, huh? Oh, we're doing this bit right now, huh? All right, well, here oh, we go. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Two is break first. Uh, and it was me. I was the... One without principles. Uh, let's get started here. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Uh, Ooh. Excellent. I drew my commander. Uh, you can just banish them from hand. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I know this set is called Magician's Force. Yeah. I'm taking a bit of a different turn this time around. Mm -hmm. With Freed the Matchless General. Ooh. That's a really cool commander, actually. Mm -hmm. You just get a search every turn. Yes. You can't spell out it. Mm hmm. And the removal's limited. Everything's limited, so it's actually pretty difficult to get a trap removal out for this guy. Wow, that's really good, actually. Yeah, uh, it's very uh, good in all those theory crafted ways. You are going to be the test to see if it actually works in practice. Well, I'm going to pick my commander real quick. Please. Before you do your draw for turn. Yeah. Hmm. There's some really good targets in this set, I gotta say. And I think... Oh, uh, you know... <laughs> I guess the question is, are you gonna show me what it is, or are you gonna be sneaky again with your little flip commanders? I'm just gonna pick this one again. You know... I'm gonna pick this one. Oh. Feel free to draw for turn. Uh, I expected nothing less. Uh, all right. Let's... You just already know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, man! I just can I just ban spell cards this time? Is that okay? Can we just get rid of those? You already have. That's what you commanded us. <laughs> true. True. I've uh, I've played myself. Look, uh, you let's... got rid of Magician of Faith before this episode. Be happy about that. <sighs> okay. Let's uh, lead things off with um, uh, literally just you, Amazon is Paladin. Oh, wow, yeah. And uh, we'll uh, just, uh, it's all yours, go ahead. He has one 1800. Mm hmm. Let's go ahead. There we go. All right, um, as always, we're going to start by just getting a plus one card advantage. Ooh. All right, who's the hit? Well, um, this one. As my block attack. And pick one. Uh, I'm going to get rid of seven colored fish. All right. All right. I'm happy to get some stuff out at least. Um, I'm just going to set a singular. Set a singular. And we're going to command a summon. And you can go ahead. All righty. Uh, blah, 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 main one. Okay. <laughs> always, it's always tricky with you. I, I always feel like I'm picking the wrong decision here. <laughs> yeah. Morphing Jar is still in the format, so if I commit anything big, the then it gets a problem. Um... But if it's... I'm realizing I, I have a really good pool for, like, a stun control deck with all these flip monsters, but I just really don't want to play that. <laughs> like, so boring, Because right? we'll be here forever. Like, I have wave motion cannon in this set. 
Um, but I don't really want to play that. <laughs> um. Okay, so I. Oh, that's okay. Mm. So I, I did ban Magician of Faith last time, right? I'm not. You did, I'm not, you did. Okay, okay. So I can't attack into that, and you get to look into it for free. If it's four star Lady Book of Doom, coming again to level four. Say again. I can't duo you again. Yes, yeah, so that can't happen. You can't duo the duo. I am. Uh, you know what? We gotta bite the bullet on this one. Uh, battle phase. Mm -hmm. uh, attack the commander. Uh, I'm gonna add a monster to sang in. Okay, there we go. So many sweet options now. Uh, I think I will be adding my apprentice magician. Okay, all right. Yeah, that would have been a pretty nice commander if if Moth was still legal. <laughs> Ooh, I I sniped it. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go uh -huh. ahead and set one and go to end phase. Oh, no commander summon. All right, huh? fair enough. All right. Um, I don't need to be greedy with this. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna set and pass. Yeah, uh, I guess not. I guess you don't have to. Um. Okay, stand by main. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and flip Morphin Jar. Ah! Uh. <laughs> mm. Yep, yeah, that resolves. Alright, uh, top of the deck. Top of the deck. Oh, and he goes back in. No. All right. Mill till you hit two, and then I'll mill till I hit two. Oh. Oh fuck! Of course hey, there he is. Hey, all right. Of course he's back. He's always here. <laughs> what if I need a big oh. guy? You know. You know, I think I'll take that. Actually, I think that's. Uh, hey, you know what? You got exactly who you were looking for. <laughs> yeah, I basically did get trigger my. Uh, but now they're back in the deck without a target. You're welcome, by the way. I don't think I wanted to put that back in my deck. <laughs> Getting the Kaiku out is very nice, though. Kaiku's pretty good. What was Kaiku's defense again? 700. 700. Uh, let's go ahead and normal summon Amazon as Tiger. Uh... Uh, Thinking. To... Oh, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> um. No, that's fine. That's fine. All right. It's well, on fifteen hundred, right? Attempt a battle. Mhm. Mm Attack over the vindictive. Um. Yeah, I'll pop. What did you say? It was. Uh, it's Hayabusa Knight is on my left, and the middle one is Zombira. Oh, it's not public which one's which, but that's fine. Oh, okay. I can just attack others on Byron. Yeah, we'll just pop this. Okay. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So we're playing Amazon S with the Freed is the idea, I take it. Yeah, uh, there was a lot of cool warriors that I had on hand, so I definitely had to include the Amazonuses just in case I needed some of those cool little goofuses. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Um, uh, and then main two, I will uh, commander summon Freed. Put Zombira away. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we have the bottom. <laughs> okay, so we have fetched that. Um, not happy. Mm -hmm. But um, where's the way for the rest of them? Question mark. Uh, banish. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Uh, set a card, and it's all yours. Roll phase. I'm gonna MST. Ooh, there's the offerings. Okay, good to see that gum. Hmm. Uh, we'll flip the Kaiku. Yeah. Uh, we'll kill this Hayabusa. Goodbye. And then we'll set two. Alrighty. Um. Alright, let's try this out. I will normal summon the Hunter with seven weapons. Uh... I will declare Spellcaster. Sure. I'll attempt to go to battle phase. 
Mm -hmm. I try to attack the Kaiku. Book of Moon. <laughs> no! Uh, Seven weapons. Okay, God. yeah. Uh, all yours. Alrighty. Um, I'm gonna flip spy. Cool. And we will special the guard. And let's get a couple cards out of your grave, I guess. Uh, yeah. We'll get the biggest things, I guess. So, Zombira Hunter. The reborn, I guess, is. Well, I guess when it's normal summon, naturally. Oh, um, yeah. Not Hunter. Let's do. Let's do the uh, Tiger. Just get rid of your, your monster reborn targets. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm going to tribute the Spy for Sangan. Uh huh. And I'll pass. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Well, this sucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Right now. Not a uh, not the best. Um. This normal swordswoman. Mm-hmm. Uh, battle. Yep. Yep. Sangin. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, we'll trigger Sangin. Mm. Um. Game state's looking pretty good for me. I'm gonna grab the Spirit Reaper. Yeah. No reason not to. Oh, uh, God. Mm. I don't like that back row, though. <laughs> Funny draw. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna True Nade. Alrighty. Uh, we will normal the Spirit Reaper. Hi. And I guess we switch this as well. We'll get in... I will take 300 from this, so I don't get to banish anything from your grave. Mm -hmm. uh, but you will be losing a card from your hand here. I'm going to say this one. Uh, that is my Amazonas Fighter. Okay, so your back row is still in the hand. Another 1,000. Oh, oh you already said 13. Uh, in which case, I'm going to fire Confiscation to send that card to grave. Uh, it's, it's Grave Robber. Oh, interesting. I guess there wasn't anything worth taking. I, I guess you could have taken, like... Yeah, there wasn't anything, really, that was going to help you much there. Well, I couldn't use Book of Moon, because it treats oh, it yeah. as being activated from the hand. It, it's your turn, so that wouldn't work. So yeah, I really Book didn't have nice, any option. If it lived to your turn, yeah, the Book of Moon to get over the Kaiku would have been good, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, um, set this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we have the Fairy Lily. All right. So. Uh, cool. Alrighty. I was really worried to just be like torrential. <laughs> rough, rough. Rough. Yeah. Rough. Now that's my sound. <laughs> I've just been struck with a terrifying realization. Mm hmm. If you flip Rivalry of Warlords on me in this episode. Oh, boy. How funny it shall be. Right. Command a choice time. Uh, it's uh, gonna be... Um, now, that didn't work out too well for us last time, but we will simply just do better. I did it. have the bottom list. Yeah, so we will just do... For, and, and you can't possibly get it again. True. It's commander. Mm -hmm. Alright, who you got? Yeah, let's pick something different this time, I guess. Sangha is so good. It's so strong. <laughs> you don't strong. have to pick a second one. It it's it tutors out your whole deck. Yeah, I'm just I just got it. It's so good. There's, there's it's the optimal choice. All right. Um. Let's see what you're working with here. Mhm. Mm ah. Well. <laughs> Ooh, Thunder Nyan Nyan, there we go. To 1900, come on. Um, ooh, wait a sec, confiscation, hold up. <laughs> and dust shoot. And dust shoot. Pretty easy to play around these though, now that you know they're there. Yeah, um, let's go with the, oh man, I want to get rid of, Oh, 
Let's pitch the white magical hat. Interesting choice. Okay. Uh. Okay. So we will normal seven fish. Yep. Uh, commander summon. Yeah, because you know I can't out it. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. Set. Set. Oh. Set. Come on. Don't have a full set. card to say. <laughs> okay. What's it? There we go. Okay. Damn. Damn it. So I can't rip anything. Hey. What you're telling me. <laughs> this dust shoot is going to be dead for the rest of the game. <laughs> Goodbye, dust shoots. Alrighty. Uh. Um. Just gonna. Whoa! Go. Uh, okay. Uh, turn off the auto draw. Uh, I'm going to elect to use Freed's effect. Yeah, you just get us guarantee a normal summon every turn. Yeah. It's pretty good. I I like it. I'm a fan. Guaranteed normal every turn, backed by four back row. <laughs> it's pretty good. Invader to the throne. Interesting. Okay. So... The middle one is the commander. Yeah. Okay. So if you have the vindictive here, I get super punished, and I don't like that. This is true. You get punished regardless of if you attack him. That's true, so I might as well do it on my own terms. Um, so, yeah, attempt to battle, uh, attack the not commander. Uh, it is not vindictive, but it is the same thing. It is new Doria. Oh, boy. Alrighty. Um, bu -bu 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 main two, I guess. Mm-hmm. Set. Hmm. And, um, yeah, take care. Alrighty. Um, uh, normal tomato. Tomato. Tomato attack. Alrighty. Alright, so it doesn't activate the battle phase, so mm -hmm. I did have to force it. Um, yeah, pass. Uh, oh, my auto draw. Let's fix that. Oh yeah, you want to draw your card for turn <laughs> <Yeah>. me? <laughs> It would be it would be nice. I would enjoy it. Uh okay. And what if we did rule that you can use Freed's effect in the commands? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, use our use those wonderful deck master rules that everyone enjoyed and loved. I think that would be crazy. <laughs> uh tempt monster reborn. Um I'll take the seven I'll target seven colored fish. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, bloop. Can't say too much about that. You know what my back row is. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, I I need you to. I need you to put a bunch of cards in your hand, dude. Uh, I mean, if I can just press the draw button a whole bunch, you let me know, and I'll just I'll just start clicking. <laughs> uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, tiger. There yeah, the tiger is. A uh, battle. Yep. Attack the uh, over the tomato. I'll trigger the tomato. Honestly, um, and then we'll attack him with fish. Go on, I'll trigger him. And yeah, we'll get the vindictive. Wherever you are. Cycling. Whoa. No way. Now I might draw into my good cards for the game state. Can we? Can we please? Uh, we really might after I activate this reasoning. Oh. 
Ah, uh, what do I know is in your deck that's a threat? So many so things this could be. Uh, I'm just going to say four. That seems to be a yeah, good medium. That's probably the safest bet. Please don't immediately hit one. Oh. Okay. Uh... Bye, guard. Bye-bye. Well, that... well, you know, I didn't really want to draw those, except maybe the needle ceiling. That would have been pretty good, actually, <laughs> next turn <laughs> during the needle ceiling. Not ideal. Um... Well, you know. Um... All right. Go ahead. Let's go. Um... Oh, that's potentially pretty funny. Um... Oh, but it, do, it just accomplishes yeah, the cooking. same thing. It's not really doing anything. Uh, we'll go to attack with the invader. Mm -hmm. um, uh, go to battle phase. Mm -hmm. uh, use fish to attack the new set card. Uh, that is the spy, unfortunately. All right. Do the spy and mill the guard immediately. <laughs> Got another target for that you want to use? Nope. All right. Um, let's go. Tiger over the Vindictive. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, it's out the fish. Okay. Blah. Uh, and let's go ahead and unlock your deck a little bit. Let's attack over the commander. Alrighty, we will sing in. We. Sports. Uh, so rough when you have that much back row. We're gonna grab Pyramid Turtle. Oh, joy. He's back. I'm so happy. Main two. Um, let's go... Uh, yeah, let's Commander Summon. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Two oh. tributes now. Three tributes next time he goes back. I don't think you're going to be paying that cost again. I don't know. Have you seen Freed? He's he's the matchless oh, general. He might be worth it. Hmm. Uh, and I think so that about bro. does it from me. Go ahead. Uh, oh. Okay, all right. That does not help me here. Um, <laughs> but it is very funny. Uh, I'm going to tribute set setting in. All right. Um, and then I will set and pass. All right. Um, Do I want to auto-draw something? I think the answer is yes. So I'm going to go ahead and use Freed's Effect. Mm-hmm. Let's grab... He basically re gives you the bodies you tributed for him. That's so good. So nice. Um, but about this is like the first time we're using a commander as intended. <laughs> <laughs> like, consistent access to a powerful piece of engine. And considering you're the one who started all of this, I figured you would take the first step on that one. Well, I mean, I didn't pull him. He's an ultra. <laughs> Such right. a cool card, though. Let's, uh, let's get Digreffer. Let's get the warrior. Mm -hmm. Let's get the guy. Um, okay, uh, I want to be exceedingly greedy right now. Oh. So we're going to grave robber, target the reasoning. Oh, that is exceedingly greedy. I'm going to pay 2000 I'm going to activate it. Yeah. Um, What's the guess? Four. You fool, it's Frontier oh. Wiseman! Wait, this is the same effect as Freed, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but now all of my warriors are protected. Damn, that's kinda... It's kinda good. The problem is... How many spells are there that target right now? I guess, like... Uh, offerings is pretty good here. It's, it's kinda okay. It's alright. Book of Moon. Book of Moon is nice. Mm. Okay, regular normal summon on Digreffer. Um yep. We will use Share the Pain. 
we will tribute the die grabber to yep. tribute the card that you set from hand. Uh, I choose the tribute. Oh, shoot. I forgot about that. Okay. Would you like to change your mind? Because uh, <laughs> you're going to do a main two. That, that would be the correct way to do things, but I don't know. You think the audience will be mad? We could just cut it out. <laughs> okay, will you be mad? No. <laughs> you didn't know. You didn't know. Like, it's fine. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> okay, go to battle phase. All right. We will uh, attack with Frontier Wise Man uh, over that one. I'll get the Sangan effect. Mm -hmm. Uh, honestly, I think I have to go for a Spirit Reaper here. Ooh, the Spirit Reaper. Um, we'll go Digrefer over the set monster. We'll trigger the turtle. Yeah. I think here we only have one target left, and that's going to be the Patrician of Darkness. Uh, and then we'll try to run over with Freed. Yeah, I don't have a, another way to deal with that. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Um, that does it for... I could have summoned the Spirit Reaper F of Doomer Turtle. That probably would have been better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that could have done it. Um, I just forgot the Freed still had an attack. <laughs> they're they're kind of chunky. It's fine. It's fine. It's all chill because um, I have drawn the out. Uh oh. Autonomous action unit. <laughs> I'm going to target your seven colored fish. Uh, all yours. Anything here? Uh, no. Tribute summon dark dust spirit effect. Oh, heinous. Oh. Okay. I'm back in the cool. command zone, buddy. Um, Bam, uh, there we go. Fire off the battle phase. I'll take two. And he is gonna bounce back to the hand. Alrighty. Um, uh, ick. Gross. Do not like. Hmm. Uh, let's go the warrior returning alive. Oh. Uh, let's get back. Yeah, that's grapple. pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah, you really are just playing the warrior deck right now. And let's go ahead and beef it up with a little bit of the A forces. No, <laughs> you're not playing the A forces. Nineteen hundred. Crazy. Uh, 19? Yeah, I'll take the 19, I guess. Alright. Um, take care. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's an unfortunate one. Um. Oh, but for who? Damn, I wonder what this one is. Uh, and I will finally get to set a card this game. <laughs> and I'll pass. Dang. That's spooky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder what this set monster could possibly be. <laughs> oh god, you know what? Me too. Let's activate the shallow grave. Okay. I'm gonna target my invader to uh invader of the throne. Okay, I'm gonna target my addictive magician? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, we'll go to battle. Mm hmm. Uh, attempt to hit the Vindictive. I think if that back row is nothing, this is gonna be game. Not immediately. Ring of Destruction. Oh! Oh, in what I think 19. it does. Uh, yeah, we. I think it does uh, current it attack in this format, right? Mm -hmm. So nineteen hundred each. Ugh, rough. Uh, rough, 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 rough. rough. Uh, with rough, roughman. 
Uh, main two. Mm -hmm. Set. Interesting. Go ahead. I think I got it. We're gonna flip Vindictive. Yeah. And flip Spirit Reaper. Yeah. And just for good measure of damage, I'll normal the Ladybug. There, there, there it is. Try and get in for game. Yeah, you got it. Oh. That's for you. Okay. <laughs> wow, that was... I didn't expect that one to go so one-sided. Like, I guess I just have so many the like, control tools now. Wow, way to way to rub it in. I'm sorry, oh sorry. I mean, I we normally you're go going, to a game you're going three. To the you know? now. We normally go to a game three. So it's hot. My yeah, brain is not I mean, working that, all the way. That might be on me uh, for trying to be a little gimmicky this time around. I mean, the um, feed was really cool. It just might be a bit early because the targets you have are like normal summon beaters, right? Uh, well, I I like that I could search out the hunter with seven weapons to deal with a big dirtler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess think the big dirtler really cool. still doesn't deal with patrician, but you know it's yeah. just you know it's a lot more. Yeah, um, if you had like exiled force, DD warrior lady, things like that, it'd probably be more arguable. But at the minute, oh, I just think funny. the pool isn't there yet for this. No, yeah, and of course, like you said, removal is just really really good. <sighs> um, uh, like we saw, I kind of had a. a I, I had a presence on the board for a while. Yeah. I was running it, but then one piece of removal just just like disentangles everything. All right. Um, I think it's time we bit the bullet and we ban Sangin. You think he's going? It's time. It's time for him to go. Yeah, because I think we both have really good pieces of removal. Um, and he's just the rate at which we draw game. them is going to determine, of course, by the deck itself. But in a arms race between the two of us, you're always going to win when all of my removal just trades you for a monster. So, yeah. see you later, you yeah. three-eyed freak. You're on the bus now, <laughs> um, folks. I'm I'm doing this for you. I'm losing to bring you more interesting games. So you know, you're welcome. Right. You want to talk about uh pulls real quick? <laughs> Uh, let me grab those. Uh, while I'm looking them up, do you have any in particular that you wanna yeah, show so off? Yeah, so I was talking about the, um... So there is, an, there is some hollows I'm not gonna talk about, because they might come up later. Um, which is the one good hollow I got, I think. Um, uh, I did get both secret rares from this set, which is Diffusion Wave Motion and Dark Magician Girl. <laughs> Wow. It's the worst set to pull secrets <laughs> from. Uh, uh, excellent work. Good job. I got, um... Got, like, most of the common stuff I wanted. I pulled... I'm gonna show you this, right? So, I told you... The YZ Tank Dragon, right? Uh-huh. I also pulled XYZ Dragon Cannon. Incredible. I pulled a second YZ Tank Dragon and two what? copies of Z Metal Tank. That's four super rares and an ultra rare. <sighs> these these ratios aren't real. Five hollow slots for unplayable union stuff and two terrible secret rares. And then I got one other hollow that's playable, which I will not be bringing up. Just oh, okay. All right. Agony. <laughs> Uh, all right. So we get to share in the heinousness of having pulled Dark Magician Girls a secret rare. Yo, nice. When it Fun support stuff. finally comes out, it'll go crazy. Yeah. yeah, and then we just have to find a set that reprints Dark Magician, so we can use that stuff. Uh, you got the YZ. I got the XY and the X Head Cannon. Oh yeah. Um, You're crazy. I can never use it, but I did pull Dark Paladin, so I guess that might be funny at some point. I mean, fusion substitutes and stuff like that. We can have access to multiple, you know, fusion spells and things like that. So maybe, you know. So one of the few things we can cheat in this system is we can play like you know, Poly plus fusion substitute or fusion gate, you know, things like that. You, fusions are maybe one of the more consistent strategies as we get further in, you know. And if I had pulled either Dark Magician or Buster Blader, I might have considered it. I but mean, unfortunately, the designers were cowards and made <laughs> it so you can't use two fusion substitutes in the same mm, fusion. Yeah. Lamos. Well, maybe the side sets will give us the reprints of stuff like our Magician, you know? Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, well, just to 
Don't worry, this isn't Prog 2. We're not going to go on for four years. We will not be opening every single side set. We will pick <laughs> the ones that are good for the format and interesting to go into. We will not be going into every single side set. <laughs> Get ready for the Haunted Mine episode of yeah. Commander Prog. Get ready for Commander Prog. We have reached Xyz format. It is 2027. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Nova is still losing. Nova is still summoning Zombira as his command. <laughs> That's yeah, all I, I got. Guess, but you'll have to tune in for next episode at Dark Crisis where we're going to get a Guido. True. Yo, I forgot he's in there. Yeah. All right. Well, we got that to look forward to. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>